keep you updated on the capital and financial markets, here is a recap of what happened. The European Union's financial sector urged the bloc to delay quick fixes to how asset managers label sustainable investment funds, saying the EU executive should conclude a broader review first to ensure a holistic approach. Since March 2021, asset managers have been applying the Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation, which aims to bring more rigor into labeling of environmental, social and governance funds, and help regulators crack down on greenwashing or inflated green claims. However, uncertainty over how to label investment funds has prompted asset managers to downgrade funds, and the bloc's securities, banking and insurance watchdogs last year proposed amendments to SFDR, opens new tab to make the rules easier to apply. The EU's executive, the European Commission, has yet to approve the proposed regulatory technical standards, and meanwhile continues with a broader review. The Securities Commission Malaysia announced that it has widened sophisticated investor categories in a move to increase capital market accessibility. The new guidelines on categories of sophisticated investors, which takes effect the 5th of February, reinforces the SC's commitment to maintain capital market competitiveness and vibrancy, while promoting greater investor participation. The SC Chairman Dato, Seri Dr. Awang Adek Hassin said that the growing sophistication of the Malaysian capital market has resulted in varied financing needs and investment risk appetites. The criteria for sophisticated investors have been broadened to include a wider range of individuals who can contribute to the market's growth and stability, he said. India's 4 trillion US dollar stock market is pulling in billions of dollars of domestic and foreign money as investors flock to a fast-growing alternative to China, brushing aside risks around overpriced shares, upcoming elections, and regulatory uncertainty. The stream of investment has lifted the benchmark NSE Nifty 50 index opens new tab by a third in the last 10 months and attracted 20 billion US dollars in foreign inflows in 2023 according to India's national depository data. India's allure is rising this year as global investors seek substitutes for sickly Chinese markets and as expectations grow that national elections this year will see current Prime Minister Narendra Modi return for a rare third term. India's 4 trillion US dollar stock market is pulling in billions of dollars of domestic and foreign money as investors flock to a fast-growing alternative to China, brushing aside risks around overpriced shares, upcoming elections, and regulatory uncertainty. The stream of investment has lifted the benchmark NSE Nifty 50 index opens new tab by a third in the last 10 months and attracted 20 billion US dollars in foreign inflows in 2023 according to India's national depository data. India's allure is rising this year as global investors seek substitutes for sickly Chinese markets and as expectations grow that national elections this year will see current Prime Minister Narendra Modi return for a rare third term. Malaysia's economy is expected to grow between 4% and 5% in 2024, boosted by domestic spending and foreign direct investment, according to Inter-Pacific Asset Management. Its chief economist and fund manager Daytuk Dr. Nasri Khan said the relentless effort by the current government to bring in FDI is also an indication that global investors had increased confidence in Malaysia, which bodes well for the domestic market. He said the government remains committed to its economic reform efforts to attract high-value investments through catalytic blueprints and initiatives under the Madani Economic Framework, the National Energy Transition Roadmap, and the new Industrial Master Plan 2030. The latest e-zine is now available for download at FIMM's official website. Download your copy today to keep up to date with what's going on in the industry. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.